why don't we have more? I feel like enough people talk about Sunset Riders that I feel like it would got yeah. would have got some sort of like next gen movement for yeah. it. Video games that didn't go on long enough, as and I think as retro people, it's like this is almost too easy of a conversation because yeah. there's a lot of obvious ones, but I feel like we should kind of bounce around to what we, what we really think like, okay, there wasn't enough of these games, or there was only one or maybe two, but I know you had one before this you were telling us. I don't you. know why this one popped right in my head, but the Left 4 Dead series. I, dude, me and him would have a blast on this. It's fun single player, but dang, two player that game? Yeah, it's so fun. And I know Gabo is saying that you yeah. necessarily didn't like My it. My opinion, I, I like how the games play. Got it. But I don't know if I ever told you, I don't like the games without story. Got it. So yeah, I understand why you guys have fun. Yeah. But Bro, not... I, I love like the thrill they give me, like when the when the smoker was that the smoker the, the one that smoker, throws the, throws the tongue at you and starts pulling you. I'm like. Ah! And that was one I of those. That, like. that was one of those games that we played a lot together. And I remember I played it in my my game room at that time, which was a detached garage. Dude. And I remember it would make me feel a little eerie and stuff because I was by myself in a garage, and I hear you screaming and a couple Andy and a couple other people. Oh, the smoker's coming or the big the big the big lobby wall, guy. I forget his name. Oh, oh, my I remember gosh. there was like the witch. Yeah, oh, yeah, the witches. That was the it hard was one. Like uh, a grind lady. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. That was the witch. Yeah. That was really but, scary. But if you attacked her, it's like, yeah, she'd go after you. She'd go after yeah, you. Yeah, it was nice. All right, another choice. I'm going to go with this one. Go. There's a game called Jamestown. I don't know if you've ever played it or not. Never. It is a, a shooter game, a shoot 'em up game. It is a four player shooter game. It is a brutally hard four player shooter game. And the reason I say it, and I know it's like, oh, it's a shooter game. Do we really need more of them? What console? PS4, uh, I think it was on PC, Xbox One. It was a newer, not newer, maybe oh, it's eight, a new eight, one? eight years ago. Yeah, it was. But I played a million shooters in my life, and I feel like almost every shooter game gets like a ton of sequels. This game, as far as I know, has not gotten any sequels, and it is so fun. It is so fun with friends. It so is good. colorful. It looks like if Chrono Trigger turned into some sort of beautiful shooter game, and it also has like amazing music. It's not very often in shooters. I feel like, wow, yeah. this is like a cinematic masterpiece as far as sound goes, but it was like a beautiful symphony. You know who else? Uh, I was telling it to his Metal Jesus, and he was like, oh my god, I love James Town. Like, I don't hear people talk about it enough when I was talking Dude, about it. You got a campaign, like a story book? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's four players. Four players? It's, and it's wild. Because normally it's... a four-player co-op game doesn't have any story. Exactly. Yeah. No, there's a story. There's oh, for right. sure cutscenes between every level. Oh, really? Yeah. I need to look for it. It's James Town. Gabo. Yes. Your next one, Yeehaw Cowboy. Oh, Gone Smoke. Oof. Oh my god. So Did you like the, the Nintendo version or the arcade version? Um I would go with NES version Me because too. he's Me too. I remember you can buy stuff. Yeah, yeah, you can, which is cool. Yeah, in the case I don't think you can buy a lot I, I don't like, know. I always uh like NES a guy, shotgun, so. a, a horse oh. until you got to the end of the level. Yeah, the horse was in the case. Yeah. Oh the and, and NES, yeah. yeah. But in NES I remember you stop in a shop and you can you can buy a like a shotgun bullets. Yep. And you begin shooting like spread shots. Yeah. I think it was longer. Yeah. Longer. So it's interesting because that game's almost it's almost like a shoot 'em up because it's it's constantly moving you up and down the screen vertically and you basically just have to aim your guy yes. to two shots which way you want to go. And it's the a beautiful second season of Capcom. Oh, you consider it your second season of Capcom? Second okay. season. Not your the first. The music, season. amazing. I, it, yeah, oh I remember the music God. too. <laughs> That's what I always remember. Yeah. The music. It was and, awesome. And the second boss, I think the second boss or third boss, he looks like Ricky. Oh, nice. Well, they all yeah, do. Especially now with the mustache. With the mustache. But yeah, definitely going. And good, good sound effects too. Oh, yeah. Gabo also said Sunset Riders, and we Sunset all very Riders. much agreed. Oh, yeah. Back in the golden age of Konami, arcades. Uh, it's funny, I was doing a video for uh, a guy named Russ Lyman, if you guys don't know him, he's an awesome guy. Um, Russ, what you oh. doing? <laughs> he was talking about uh, arcade memories, and one of the things he asked me is, what's my favorite arcade as of now, not, not necessarily of all time. And I was saying, like, yeah, I feel like a lot of people, when they go for four players, they go for Turtles, or they go for Simpsons, which is great. Yeah. But I was like, you know what, Sunset Riders, man, that is a... Uh, Sunset Riders. That game didn't, like... Why don't we have more? I feel like enough people talk about Sunset Riders that I feel like it would got, yeah. would have got some sort of, like next-gen movement for with, it when that with that one I have to go to arcade yeah. oh yeah it's oh, great or, or Super Nintendo for play, you remember that era of Super NES yes 
it was everything like has to be family friendly. Yeah, yeah. And they changed a lot of stuff yeah. from the arcade. Well, I liked, and I know the arcade had it too, and the Genesis version didn't have it, but I loved all the voice samples. Yes. Like, oh, bury me money, with my money. money. Oh, the it's Super time NES, to pay. Yeah. The yes. Super NES was the closest version of to the arcades. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But for me, in that one, I have to go with the arcades. Yeah. So amazing. I like, oh, those terrible men, please <laughs> help. <laughs> All right, ma'am, don't worry about it. All right, the next one going on the list, we'll just move on. Uh, for This was more of a pick for me, and I know some people might say, hey, it got three games, and that, to me, is the skate games. And as much as I love Tony Hawk, as someone who skateboards, uh, like actually skateboards, uh, skate to me always felt like a real fluid skateboarding game. Like even though you could still do things that aren't necessarily possible, it felt more like fluid in terms of living out what it feels like to skateboard. And um, I know there's people that agree with me on it. There's tons of campaigns that people say, make America skate again. And it's basically for EA, like, hey, give us another skate game. People have been waiting, I think it's been over a decade now, quite a bit since we've got another skate game. And I know, like I said, I know it got three, but for me, you know, I mean, I send them pictures even when I got my Xbox One X. That was, was the first game. I'm sitting play. there playing Skate 3 every night. I on was it. like, why are you playing a 360 game? Yeah, you, I, got a, you got an X. Yeah, yeah, I love it, you know, 360. Funny. Do a 360 on the 360. What? What? I don't know. Next one <laughs> uh, was Ricky, Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare. It's, Bucky. I'm surprised it actually didn't get a sequel. It's. Pretty much like a Mega Man. It's so good. It's well, what's it's, unique about it is the four, in my opinion, the, 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 the ability to change characters. Yeah, during, the, on the fly, literally. That's what I think is. It was a Konami or Konami. Ultra game. Konami. Konami. Uh, Konami. Konami? Okay. It's the the Green Rabbit. But you, dude, it's amazing. You got like a nice little super jump. Every every character does something. Literally. Yeah. It's hard, but it's so good. It's literally. It, it reminds you of Mega Man. I think five. Yeah, I, it reminds me of Mega Man Five for some weird reason. There also is an arcade version, which is a little bit more beat 'em up ish. But I do think the NES version was a better version. It's a more superior version. Yeah, it was, dude. It was good. I don't know why I always associate Bucky with Battle Toads. Might just be a mental thing. No, like not. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. But I, I always, every time I I hear Bucky, right away I think about Battle Toads. Oh, also, we didn't mention one of the biggest things about Bucky O'Hare is the soundtrack. The oh Red Planet, the gosh. Green Planet, they have some of the best. So good. It is Konami and NES. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You're gonna have a good soundtrack. Yeah. I used to bump those songs all the time in our old videos, like in our pickup videos. Oh, yeah. That was what I well, was. Oh man, I, I miss good old Konami. Yeah. yeah. Not anymore. Sorry. I, I feel bad because I feel like it got a bad rep because of the show. <laughs> what? I think that's what finally ended. Oh, oh, oh Buck, you heard of the show. I like the, the show. show. I like the There's even a it. show? Yeah, there's, there's a, a show. show about it. Which I didn't think was that bad, but a lot it of people didn't like it. It wasn't that bad, but. Gabo. Yes. Alien Storm. Alien Storm. Oh, boy. Tell me. I love it. And I think there was only two games one arcade okay. and the Genesis port. And I thought the, it was NES. I, I, I'm not wrong, who knows? No, that's Sega. That's the era of Gordon Hayes. Oh, I'm thinking of Alien Syndrome. No, uh, that's a different one. Alien Storm, okay. Alien Storm was a beat em up. I always, back in the days when I was a kid, I always see that arcade beside the Gordon Hayes. Gold Max? Yes. And. I always uh, joke with my friends saying like, that's Gordon S in the future. Oh, so basically you're saying yeah, Alien Storm is like Golden Axe in uh, the future. Yeah. I feel that, like I might even have played it on here on, on the, the emulator, yeah, on the probably. retro, without knowing. <laughs> because now that you're explaining it, I feel like I played some Alien something and I remember enjoying it and it sounds like what you said. Yeah, because Sega has Alien Syndrome yeah. mm -hmm. and Alien Storm. So yeah, it was a beat em up. From the 90s? I is think? it like the Alien games? Because the Alien games were pretty fun. Alien versus Predator. Yeah. It was a great beat em up. Beautiful beat em up, actually. Because it's Capcom, right? Because it's Capcom. Uh, uh, the Gabos, pass it back to you again. Rastan. All right. I agree with you on oh, Rastan. Oh, my God. First, who remembers Rastan music? Oh, me That's too, for sure. Epic. Yeah. Epic. And also, Rastan has like that. that, that I know it's ch silly, but like that that grizzly man appeal with like the shirt off and just like a beast, you know, like yeah. ready to fight. <laughs> Did like, I ever on. tell you? Yeah, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that's one of my favorite movies, Conan? Conan, yeah. Yeah, The Barbarian. Yeah. The first one. That's so good. that game always remind me of that movie. Yeah. 
And also, it's a really good game. Yeah. But for me, the highlight of that game yeah. is the music. It's great. Different. They make a second part in their case, and I think their support on Genesis. But the music was amazing too. But it was not as good Got it. as the first one. So we need more rest. And, and I love the simplicity of it too. Yeah. When games can be so simple and there's not too much to it, and it's still a fun game, it's like okay, this game was uh, the gameplay is oh, done correctly. And another point. Yes. That was my first. Sega Master game that I oh, ever nice. played. Nice. nice, in your life? In my life. Oh wow. That was the very first one. I was amazed because the, even the music yeah. in the Sega Master was good. Ricky, Power Stone. Oh Ooh. my gosh. I can't believe they stopped at two and then two. Oh, the PSP one, that just has all of them. Yeah, yeah. But this game was like literally the coolest game to play on Dreamcast with all your buddies. Was it out in 99 at the same time the Dreamcast launched or was it like 2000? I think it was 2000. I think it was okay. 2000, yeah. It's great. It's like it, it was like an, a, a Smash Bros version for people who didn't want to play Smash Bros and just had that like semi isometric view. It was like a little bit it felt like a game that was a great multiplayer game that we were, we were you know, we're used to like you said yeah. Mario Parties and other games that have that four player aspect, but it has like that more like I don't know, freedom to roam around and fight. Yeah, it was like it's colorful, but then like your power-ups are insane. Like I I love fighting over the power-ups on that. It's like, oh, yeah. I, I know I, this, has, so this has nothing to do with it, but I was just thinking of the Dreamcast and it makes me want more crazy taxi games. <laughs> yeah. And I will say, uh, oh, Jet Set Radio? Be, be, people are going to hate me. Uh oh, more? Uh, I think Power Stone is the real Smash Bros. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. Well, hey, you can it's, whatever you want to say. Yeah, really cool. It's, Opinion's opinion. Bro, yeah. for back in the day, that game runs pretty smoothly. I'm not going to lie. No, it does. It's it, it really does. smooth. I, I love the graphics. It has that like that that generation of style. Graphics. It was different. It was different. I remember first time I played, I was like, Whoa, "What is this? Yeah. So good!" My, my the last choice uh, of the evening uh, for me. I don't know if you played. It. I know Ricky has his uh, <laughs> Journey to Silius. Uh, it is basically if you haven't played it. It has that like Mega Man sort of feel and all that. It actually kind of reminds you of like Mega Man when you first start it, not knowing what it is. Yeah. It looks like Mega Man like if he was blonde without his helmet on. You know, he's got the suit on. What he's console? NES. NES. It's a running gun. There's power ups. There's fluid movement. And like a lot of games in that day, some of the games in that day were trying to you know like mimic Mega Man in that style of gameplay. Yeah. But I feel like it really nailed that gameplay. It wasn't floaty at all. Everything moved quickly. And again, saying so, like we do a lot of things, uh, the music was absolutely fantastic. And I think it was Sunsoft. Sunsoft. And Sunsoft in the, the NES of, days had yeah. beautiful. I'd say rivals Konami with maybe music. even to me some of the music. best music. It's really good. That. Is All right, let, let's, let me ask you something real quick. Yes, sir. Yeah. Three best music. For three best. Yes. Well, that's a quick. That's a whole no, other no, video. Whole no, no, no. Three company. We could save a whole new video for that. Oh, all You're right. robbing these people of a new video. <laughs> Whatever. Don't rob them. I, I'm just trying to bring something. Yeah. Just bring me food. There's no. 